Today, we will be making brownies from the Pilgrim Cookbook, published in 1921. For this recipe, you will need two eggs, one third of a cup butter, one cup sugar, two squares or about two ounces of bitter chocolate, one cup chopped nuts, one cup flour, and one teaspoon vanilla. Let's start by preparing our ingredients, lightly beating the eggs and chopping the nuts. I used walnuts. The recipe called for two squares of chocolate. I don't know how big a square of chocolate would have been in 1921, but I guesstimated that would be similar to two ounces of this unsweetened baking chocolate. The instructions are basic and simply tell you to mix ingredients together. I started by mixing the eggs, butter, and sugar together. Even though I used room temperature butter, I found it was really helpful when mixing to squish the butter against the sides of the bowl. Ultimately, I have no idea um, what the finished consistency is supposed to be, so I'm just guessing at this point. And my guess is that the butter should be fully incorporated into the eggs and the sugar before adding any more ingredients, but... <sighs> Next, I'm adding the vanilla and the melted chocolate to the mixture. Melt the chocolate in the microwave in 30 second intervals, stirring every 30 seconds. Next, I sift and mix in the flour. Finally, add the chopped walnuts to the mixture. Then the recipe tells us to spread the mixture in buttered pans. Bake for about 30 minutes. My oven was set to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the brownies have cooled down, cut them into squares. All right, so let's see how this tastes. I'm eating a corner piece because the corners are my favorite. If you're looking for a warm, gooey, chewy brownie, this is it. Wow. I was ambivalent about the recipe for this brownie, but it turns out that the recipe yields a very cake-like brownie with a bit of a fudgy center. So if that's what you're into, excellent. The recipe was easy. I also thought that the quantity of walnuts would be too much, but it's just what it needs so that fudgy center doesn't get too fudgy. I personally don't like such a fudgy brownie. And I think this is a great balance. The texture is good. The flavor is just right. It's not too sweet. I personally don't have that much of a sweet tooth. So I love when there's a recipe like this. It's a nice balance. I think you could add more chocolate if you wanted to. When I compared it with modern recipes online, Modern recipes um, use the full bar of chocolate rather than just a few pieces like I had used. But I think this is a great, easy, not too sweet, not too fudgy brownie. This is probably the first time that I wouldn't change anything about the historic recipes that I tried. And I hope you give this recipe a try as well. If you have any historic recipes you'd like me to try, please leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching!